But the deepest mark of the depths of Lee's temper occurred in the spring of 1859. When his father-in-law died in 1857, Lee was named executor of the Custis estate, which, to his surprise, required him to superintend the emancipation within five years of all the Custis slaves at Arlington and two other Custis-owned properties. Lee could not hurry to execute this emancipation because the will also mandated that four $10,000 legacies be paid to each of Lee's daughters. Since the properties had been run haphazardly for years by old Custis, Lee would need to turn them into engines of efficiency to pay the required legacies, and that he did with an engineer's sense of precision. But the Custis slaves did not share his interest in making Arlington and the other places profitable. They believed that the Custis will had in fact emancipated them at once. And in 1858, three of them, two men and a woman, acted on that belief and fled to Westminster, Maryland, where they were eventually apprehended and returned to Arlington. His fabled self-control teetering unsteadily Lee demanded of the three why they ran away. Because, they replied, frankly, we considered ourselves free. That, to Robert Lee, was not merely a legal misapprehension. It was a threat to his own integrity as the Custis Will's executor and to the future of his daughters. He then told us he would teach us a lesson we would never forget and ordered the three stripped to the waist and directed the Arlington overseer, John McQuinn, to give the men 50 lashes each and 20 to the woman. McQuinn balked and had sufficient humanity to decline. So Lee turned to Richard Williams, the Arlington constable who had brought the fugitives back and had him perform the whipping while Lee demanded he lay it on well. By one account, Lee took the whip in his own hands and flayed them himself. Afterwards, he was so appalled at his own rage that he could not admit the full extent of what he had done, even to his son, Custis, who read about the incident in the newspapers. The New York Tribune has attacked me for my treatment of your grandfather's slaves, he conceded to Custis, but I shall not reply. Your grandfather, he added, has left me an unpleasant legacy.